Well, the Pentagon says its bombing campaign in Iraq is costing taxpayers up to $10 million a day. But according to a leading Washington-based think tank, the bill is even higher. It's estimated America's air assault has already cost between $780 and $930 million. Igor Piskunov has the details. This may not be pleasant news for American taxpayers, but the same cannot be said for the Pentagon's top four military contractors. In fact, stock prices for Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Raytheon and General Dynamics went up by 19% compared to last year, which is pretty impressive stuff if we compare it to the 2.2% growth of Standard and Poor's 500, the 500 largest companies listed on the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ. For some, war is a lucrative business. For instance, one Tomahawk missile costs around 1.5 million U.S. dollars, and it's reported that U.S. forces can launch dozens of these in a single attack. For more on this, I wanted to speak with the defense analyst and author Ivan Elon. Uh, sir, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, clearly, this campaign against ISIS isn't going to take just a few days. How much weapons do you think will it take, and how big of a business are we talking about here? Well, these stock prices are going up on the anticipation of future business. The $600 million is a, seems like a large sum, but, you know, we spend a couple trillion dollars on the Afghanistan and Iraq war, so it just depends on how the war goes. We put in ground troops, the, the airstrikes, but even the airstrikes will become expensive over time. Do you think airstrikes will be enough, efficient enough, or could we see a ground operation taking place, meaning more weapons? Well, it's possible because I think when you when you, you tend to get sucked into these things, the airstrikes don't appear to be uh, backing down ISIS as much as they thought they would. Uh, ISIS is still advancing in some places. So then uh, uh, the political leaders say, you know, their prestige of the United States and, and them is on the line. So then they start saying, well, well, OK, we'll put in some special forces, more special forces, et cetera. And gradually, you get sucked into something like the Vietnam War, which is exactly what happened uh, there. Sir, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you very much for coming here. So frankly, it's not clear how long this operation against ISIS will take. But what is clear is that for US military contractors, times have never been better. Igor Piskunov, RT, Washington, DC.